Hey guys, Scrap It's back here, and as most scrappers know, it doesn't take long for your garage to turn into an absolute pigsty. So today, we got a couple things to do today. One, we're going to take a run over to the recycling yard and get rid of cardboard boxes. I've got an old printer that I don't want anymore and I don't want to take apart. They'll take that stuff. Um, I've got a little bit of steel I want to bring them. I know it's take it to the scrapyard, take it to the scrapyard. It's bulky, lightweight stuff. It's probably four bucks worth of steel. It would take up two tubs in my car, or my my SUV, and I don't want to deal with it. I don't care. It's going over to the recycling place. They'll take it for free, and it'll be out of my hair today, and I have some more room and space in the, in the car for when I do real runs of the scrapyard. And if you watched my last dumpster run video, there was um, those two big tubs of wire that we pulled out of that that dumpster, well one of those tubs was full of, um, there was a lot of headphones in there. And my scrapyard won't take that kind of stuff, there's too much plastic. So the ones that were just a lot of the metal I threw in my little tub of tin shred. But um, most of those are going to go to the uh, recycle place too. So I'm going to get some stuff together, we're going to load up, we're going to go there, and then on with our day. So here we go. Alright, so we're loaded up, we got the cardboard. These are those steel things that are going. I weighed it. It's about five bucks for the steel. I need the empty tub. I don't want to deal with it. The printer, and then that thing is pretty much full of headphones with the wires clipped off. And they'll take all those from me and shred them up into their e waste stuff. So we got to go get gas, some caffeine, and we'll take a run down to that recycle yard. I'll show it to you. All right, let's roll. All right, so this is the uh, recycling center. And I'm really lucky to have this by my house. They'll take nearly anything from you, which is just awesome. If I scrap out a tube TV, I can pull out the yoke and I can take out all the circuit boards and everything else. And they'll take the tube TV from me, which is great. How's it going? Good. Ooh. Got one of those for you. Okay. Do you want to make containers back? Uh, yes, please. I'll get the door. Thank you. Okay, thanks. What is this for? Uh, well, I mean, it, 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 that's an awful lot of uh, headphones. Oh, okay. And, you know, it, it looks like it could be from a business, so we want to... Oh, is this like for... I, um, this is for you to... This is just saying that it's... Uh, like I didn't steal that kind of stuff? No, that oh. it's not from a business. Oh, okay. I don't know what my plate number is off the top of my head. Okay. Well, I, I can get that. I know it's um, 030 something like that. Anything else you need on here? Just a signature? Uh, let me see. Signature. I guess that's about it. Okay. Okay. Alright, thank you. Thanks. Well, that was kind of interesting. That was the, uh... That was the first time they've ever, uh questioned me on anything I've ever brought here in 10 years. <coughs> they were um, asking me about that uh, tub of headphones where I clipped all the cords off of them and they wanted to know if I, if I was a business and where they came from and I had to fill out a form with my car, my vehicle information, and my driver's license number and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. That was kind of weird. But um, 
there's a little free room here where they, you know, people bring stuff in here and if they think it's worthwhile, they'll throw it into a room and you can take whatever you want. It's usually like, you know, paint cans and cleaning stuff and junk like that, but every once in a while you find something weird, so I'm gonna head in there and check that out quick. A wall of paint cans, spray paint cans. Pretty cool. And that's where we came through here. So I'm gonna blab on about the recycling center here just for a second. So when I was in that, so you guys saw the free room. Um, that's really nice. That one, that stuff doesn't end up in the landfill and all that stuff, and it gets reused, which is personally for me, I think that's great. There's just so much waste in in this world, and particularly in this country, that it's nice to see things get reused and have the opportunity to get reused. Um, but I did run into that guy and I talked to him for a second, the guy that made me fill out the form. Um, and I asked him again, you know, why was I having to fill that form on? He just said it was a new policy that they have now is that, that they wanna know what products come from businesses in the area and what products come from just regular homeowners and what products come from contractors and all those kind of things. And they, and they said it's just a, a, a uh, I don't know, a data gathering tool that they're using just so they know what comes from where just for future um, operations of the place so whatever I don't really care they're nice folks there I've never had them turn me down on anything that I've ever brought there so all right now I'm headed home and we got to grab the wifey and the doggy and take him to the vet for his checkup and then we're gonna go do some dumpster diving I think for a little bit so we will be back. Alright, so we got the dog to the vet. Everything's fine. And anyway, $160 later, we're out on the way to go do some dumpster diving. I'm going to a uh, city just south of St. Paul, Minnesota. I don't go down here too often. I get enough scrap in my own area, but um, I haven't been down here in a while, so I thought I'd go take a shot at it, and I got a free few hours to go do something. So I thought on the way down here, I would blab on just for a couple minutes about steel. Um, why I don't take steel. I've had some comments on my videos on my other channel. Um, and um, so I just wanted to address that. So here's my deal with steel. There's valuable steel, and there's junk steel, as far as how I see it. Um, I could go to, I could do my normal dumpster out and I could, some days I could fill this SUV up three times with steel and take it home and unload it in my garage and go back out and load it back up, bring it back home, put it in my garage, yada, 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 for $10, $20 worth of steel of just that kind of crap you find in dumpsters, you know, the conduit pipes and the tin two by fours and duct work and crap like that. I, I'm not interested in that thing. It tears my car up. I have an SUV. I don't have a pickup truck. My scrapyard's a almost a 40 mile round trip drive, and to go throw eight nine hundred pounds of steel in here to go down there and get 50 60 bucks for it is not worth my time. That's why I don't get bulkier junky takes up a lot of space steel however there is what I call valuable steel small dense pieces of steel that don't take up a lot of room I can put two or three hundred pounds into one of my tubs and just take it down there when I have room in my in my uh, with the other stuff that I bring down there but 
hopping into a dumpster for a, an 11 cent piece of steel, I got no interest in it. I don't have the room for it. I don't have the vehicle for it. I don't have the, the, um, I don't have the scrapyard close enough to me. None of that kind of stuff. Now, if I had a pickup truck and the scrapyard was closer to my house and I could just throw the back, the crap in the back of a pickup truck, leave it in there, run it over, dump it for 30 or 40 bucks, heck yeah, I'll do that. But nah, not with that other stuff. I get, on my normal dumpster run, I get a carload of wire and brass and copper to take down to the scrapyard every week for 150 to 250 bucks nearly every week. I don't need to, I don't need to hassle with the steel. That's my personal opinion. That's for my personal goals and scrapping and for the situation that I'm in. So judge me if you want to, but that's why I don't do steel. So enough of me blabbing. Um, I got the uh, hands-free camera. We're going to try that out today. Hopefully I'm good enough aiming at that thing because I can't see what I'm filming while I'm filming it. So have a little uh, patience with me on that thing and uh, let's get to some dumpster diving. So I had my hands-free camera on and the battery was dead. I could have swear I had it plugged in all night. So that was the first dumpster we hit, the very first one here. Nice big chunky pieces of aluminum, whatever this thing is. A telephone power supply. Be interesting to see what's in that thing. Probably a giant, probably a giant transformer. And then a tub of Cat5 kind of wire. A few miscellaneous things. A couple of circuit boards down there. So, the tub half full. First dumpster, ain't so bad. Let's go see what's next. Nothing. Nothing. What's in there? Oh, I think it's empty. I think I'm gonna try to get that box out of there. There was nothing in that box. Man, they like their black garbage bags around here. Nothing. Steel. Some kind of a pallet mover or a, two, or a barrel mover, kind of two wheeler looking thing. It's kind of interesting, but nothing I want to pull out of there. Some steel, concrete. Cut up pallets. Let's get a look in the boxes. In a box of boxes. <laughs> styrofoam, styrofoam. Some kind of side panels in this box. Yeah. They're plastic anyway. I don't see anything in here. All right, let's get out of Ooh, here. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. That took some work getting out of there. That's a, an aluminum dock plate was in there. I had to move a bunch of stuff around to get that thing out of there. That's worth more than scrap. That thing's uh, getting sold as is. Awesome. Yikes. More giant black garbage bags. A little broom. Yeah, all right. Almost drove by this one. And I probably should have. Carpet. And a few heat registers. Yippee. Man, I had a nice uh, 
I had a nice start and things are drying up here. All right, onward and upward. This one here I've had some luck with in the past. It's another uh, plumbing and heating supply place, but I don't see anything. It's just some little chunk of weird wire there. I'll fish it out of here, but. It's not even a wire, it's just a, a hose connection off of a uh, off of a water filter. Little chunk of copper pipe if I can get it out. Yeah, big deal, right? See if there's anything interesting in those. No, no. Oh, it's an M12 urinal auger kit box. Yee! That sounds like fun. That's empty. We'll check the cardboard just because we're standing here. I don't see nothing. That's no, not cardboard. Throw the copper in the bucket. Shut the door. On to the next one. So I fully expect something out of this one because there's stuff in here every time. But it's a uh, it's a direct TV place. So it's usually oh that's nice. It's usually full of uh, coaxial wire. However, you do get stuff like that from time to time in here. Some more wire. Those are probably brass, so I'll take those with. Reach and stick out of the way. But just a lot of coaxial. I can't do anything with coaxial where I live and work. A remote. I don't need to do remotes again if you watch my just my past videos. So I'm gonna fish through this stuff and I'll show you what I get out of here. Oh there's a nice little piece of drop cord. Take that with. So I'll show you here in a second. So this is about average out of there. Get a little bit of number one. Maybe a cat piece of cat five here and there, drop cord, some of these adapters, things like that. So that's cool. We'll take that bit of stuff with me. And we'll move on to the next one. But I'll tell you what. If you want coaxial wire, that's the place to go. Because there's probably 300 pounds of it in there. It's ridiculous. I wish I had some way to do something with it, but... It isn't worth stripping out and nobody will take it. My scrapyard won't even give me steel rates for it, so it ain't worth it. So we're gonna move on to the next one. Nothing interesting there. Now here's one that looks interesting. Yeah, got some wire there. I'm not interested in that aluminum and mixed in with all that steel. All right, I'm about to poke around on this one for a few minutes. I'll show you what I get. So I poked around that dumpster for a few minutes and what I thought was wire was fiber optics. And there are those like uh, drop ceiling aluminum light fixtures in there that have steel on them. And I'm not going to spend a half hour fishing those out of there for probably, oh, a dollar worth of dirty aluminum. Or if I took all the steel off of there, there'd be about a dollar worth of aluminum. <laughs> I got other things to do. So, and then uh, 
there was a bag in there that looked like somebody's personal items like a little toiletry bag and there was some adult paraphernalia in there so I left that too it's amazing what you find in a dumpster I'll tell you that garbage shocking gross garbage even more shocking okay let's go find some more it's kind of running out of territory here but I think we'll hit a few more see you in a little bit I have had some luck out of this one some oddball things but today it just looks like pizza party boxes a lot of pizza looks like there's some steel or little pieces of aluminum mixed in with the food waste I'm good all right let's go on to the next one now this joint here I've had some luck with before this is a uh, plumbing and heating place I keep saying I've had luck at places like this and then there's nothing in here sometimes there'll be little pieces of skibble scabbly kind of stuff but I don't see anything very interesting right now. Oh, there you go. A nice piece of copper there. I'll take that thing. What is, what is this? Thing? Big chunk of plastic with something on it I got no interest in. I don't see anything else in there. So, these dumpsters here. have the good stuff in it most of the time there's a nice heater there cord sticking off of it wouldn't mind having that thing to take apart some nice condensed uh, dirty aluminum and all that stuff but this is a uh, dumpster that's there for a reason it's there for a reason they put their stuff in there they get money for it not there they don't put a dumpster out so some scrapper can just come by and take whatever they feel like out of there it's not a uh, it's not a free bin at a garage sale you take stuff out of those kind of things you're basically stealing there's there's no other way to look at it than that so it's a great way to get in trouble get arrested have the cops know who you are when you're in the city scrapping just stay out of them I mean what's in there three bucks worth of steel that heater maybe 10 20 bucks worth of scrap or parts on it I mean I don't, I don't really feel like getting arrested over 25 30 bucks so I'm staying out of that thing all right next one coming anybody hungry Bill. This is uh, a shared dumpster with uh, those inflatable things that you buy, you know, that you rent for your kids' parties, that kind of junk, and a company called Cord Sets. Um, I have had a little bit of luck in there in the past. It looks like something might be interesting sticking out of here. Looks like we got at least an extension cord. Let's get that out of there, hang on. Extension cord. Airplane. Let's see what else is in here. Metal shavings, sawdust. That's always exciting. Oh, probably just a freak chance thing on that extension cord. Oh, there's something else back there. 
think it's coaxial, but let's take a peek. What is that? That ain't coaxial. That's good wire. Well, stop and take a Let's take a minute here. Take that stuff. Well, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to give it a minute here. I'll take that, I'll take that. I'll take that. I just get drop cord for it, but I'll still take it. Pittsburgh socket box. I'll take that with. What do we got here? NFL Sunday countdown shot glasses. Now, yeah. what else is in here? A little chunk of wire. Rope. A glove. Nice little pulley, I'll take that thing. I don't know why I'll throw it in my toolbox. I always like to throw stuff in my toolbox. I always say, oh yeah, I'll take that. I'll go throw it in my toolbox. And then I never use it. Bet you that's for their new extension cord. Well, if you can't tell, we're right by the airport, so sorry about that. Now that's what I'm talking about when I was dang plain. That's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about good steel. It's a nice heavy compact piece of steel. I can just throw it in with my dirty steel, you know, my shred steel. Easy. Some curtains, more roll. Might be it. That's, that's there's another piece of good steel. That's a big old chunk of cast right there. No idea what that's from. That's a good eight, ten pounds right there. A piece more, a little more piece of that cord. So that will come with me for sure. Alright. So it's got the steel here. Some nice compact steel. I'm going to check this thing out. You never know if that might be worth some money on its own. <clears throat> if not, maybe I'll keep it. Got some cords. The little pulley. Rope. So, yeah, not too bad. Nothing. Bunch of uh, wind filters. And that one. All right, probably the last one here.
There's something heavy in here. Ooh, there we go. That's coming with me. I'm gonna pull this bag out of here and go through it. I'll be back in a second. I don't want to stand there and go through it. There's enough oddball things in here that we're just going to take the whole thing with. All right, guys, so that last dumpster where I got that piece of copper pipe out of that bag, um, I just grabbed the whole bag. Didn't look like there was anything gross in there. The worst is there's some cardboard in there and I'll just throw it in with my recycling. So we'll take a look at that thing when we get home. I've run out of real estate and run out of time. I didn't hit every dumpster in this area. That's that aluminum you hear rattling around, sorry. I didn't hit every dumpster in this area. If I did, it would take me two days to hit every one of them. I just hit the ones in, out of, you know, with business names that uh, look like they kind of have that sort of stuff. Electrical places, plumbing places, manufacturing places, you know, things of that nature. So anyway. Enough of the rattling, enough of me talking. Let's head home, see what's in that bag. Sorry, I'm driving, that's why I'm not looking at you. Let's go see what's in that bag, and uh, see you in a few minutes. It'll just seem like a half a second to you guys, though. All right, here's the bag of goodies. That was that uh, chunk of copper with the steel on it. Cardboard. Some kind of goofy electrical box. So I'll just chop the wire to that thing and that'll go into shred. Another, some kind of goofy electrical thing with the transformer on it. Right there. So that's cool. Cardboard. Cardboard. Nice chunk of copper. I don't know, maybe a third of a pound, half pound. Take that. More cardboard. Some steel. More steel. Garbage. I can garbage out of a garbage bag. Ooh, a little piece of copper. And some more. Copper, copper, copper. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, there's more. That's copper. That is, I don't know. It says on there, uh, it says something, 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 Italy. But that'll clear it up for you. More piece of garbage. Some more copper. Another one of those Italian made somethings. A little chunk of copper. More garbage. And that might be. Nope. That's all she wrote. So, I don't know. Not so bad. Thanks for coming along on this dumpster dive, and we'll do it again soon.